Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install twerp recovery on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm not exactly sure which other variants of the Galaxy S3 this is compatible with. Uh, you, you're going to have to check on this yourself, but the method should be similar or the same. Uh, so keep that in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Team Win Recovery uh, Twerp stands for Team Win Recovery Project. So shout out to Team Win, of course. Uh, this is actually a touch screen based recovery. It's if it's basically another option to use for a recovery, just like Clockwork Mod. So Clockwork Mod and Twerp basically do the same things in regards to flashing ROMs, themes, etc. But let's go ahead and install it. I have Clockwork Mod installed right now. You don't have to do this. This is just a personal preference. I personally probably prefer Twerp, but uh, it's just a personal thing. It really doesn't matter. Either one will work great. Uh, Clockwork Mod's Clockwork Mod's been running just fine with me, but uh, at the end of this video, after I show you how to install it, I will do a review of Twerp so we can go over it. But here's what we're gonna need to do. So first of all, to install Twerp, you need to uh, download Goo Manager from the Play Store. So go ahead and make sure you download that. Uh, it's in, it's, I think it's a beta application, but download that. I can post a link to it in the description of the video. Once you open it up, allow it super user permission. So make sure you allow it that. Once it opens up, press the menu button. And all you have to do is hit install open recovery script. Tap that and it says confirm recovery install. Hit yes. And what it's going to do is say looking for recoveries. And then it's going to basically find your device and know which device it is and choose the right uh, option. So for the Sprint, it is known as D2 SPR. So make sure it says that if you have a Sprint Galaxy S3, D2 SPR.IMG right there at the end. So make sure it says that. Once it does, it know you know it recognizes your device and hit yes. It's gonna go ahead and install that recovery. So it's actually downloading the file right here. It says please wait while we prepare the download. All right, so it started the download. Looks like up at the top, you'll see it is, uh, it is downloading, of course. All right, so it just finished downloading. It said uh, it has been granted super user permissions and recovery has been installed. So within the Goo Manager application, you can hit Reboot Recovery if you'd like, or you can do it manually, which is the method I'm going to show you just to basically show you that uh, Twerp is now installed. So it was actually very simple. It did it all for you. So let's go ahead. And what you want to keep in mind is that Clockwork Mod backups are not, and Android backups are not going to be able to be restored through Twerp. So keep that in mind um, if you have a lot of Clockwork Mod backups and you like them. Just make sure that you know that uh, if you install Twerp, you're not going to be able to restore those Nandroid backups unless you get clockwork mod back but once your device is powered off press and hold volume up home button and power button all at the same time tilt the samsung screen lights up let go and then what it's going to do is take us into twerp recovery and you'll see team win right there got that nice curtain should pull up there we go and here it is. So as I said, it is a touchscreen based recovery. You might have seen it before on a different device. So uh, everything is touchscreen, no more volume up and down, power button to select. You can hit install and find whatever you want to install. You'll see you have two uh, options, use external SD or internal SD. So you have a couple options there, which is great. Um, you can wipe, obviously you've got your factory reset cache, Dalvik cache system, external storage, internal storage, and format data. You have all of those all in one white menu, which is great, so you can just do one after another. Uh, makes it really easy. You have backup, so here's where you make your Android backups. You'll see swipe to backup. I highly recommend doing this right away. Right after you install it, you always wanna make sure you have an Android backup on your device, so please make sure you do do this. You can hit use external SD or internal SD on here, so to, it could save to either or. Uh, but please do this. I'm about to do it after this video is done. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, and uh, other options, though, you have restore. Obviously, restore the Android backup you make. You have mount. So you can uh, use external SD or internal storage to mount uh, while in recovery. You have some settings, uh, zip file, signature verification, a bunch of different settings there. You can change the time zone. You'll see up at the top, it says 10.04 p.m., which is not what it is right here. I'm actually in central time, so it should should say probably 4.15, that's what time it is. So it says central time. It looks like it's a little messed up then if it says 10.05. Uh, but yeah, you can mess with that if you'd like to. Uh, no big deal for me if that uh, time is wrong. It, it really doesn't matter. You can hit restore defaults as well. Okay, other settings though, you have advanced settings or you can copy a log, fix permissions, file manager, and terminal command. You have a file manager in here which is actually pretty sweet. So 
that's kind of nice that you have a file manager. And when you make an Android backup, and you, okay, sorry. When we go to the reboot button, uh, you, you can reboot system, you can power off, you can reboot into recovery again, or download mode, so you have those options. But now, what I wanted to say is when I make an Android backup, which I'm about to do right now, you can hit set backup name, and then you can set it to be something. So you, let's say you're running a certain ROM, let's say you're running CM10. So you can make this backup name, CM10, right there. And then you'll know that when you have different backups, you'll know which one is which, you can rename them, and there you go. So you can hit go, and then the backup name is set to CM10. You'll see it up at the top, it says backup name CM10, and swipe to backup, make that an Android backup, and you are you are good to go. So there you have it. Uh, that would be basically how to install Torp Recovery, Team Win Recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S3, and just a quick overview of it. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.